Hi folks and welcome to the next edition of my veg garden. Um, today we're going to be planting potatoes, onions um, and sort of odds and sods and that so stay with us and see how we get on. Okay folks here we go. Um, we're using our trusty plant spacer to allow us Jack. to... Yeah, we've got a plant spacer yeah. to allow us to... Ah, what's wrong with that plant spacer? No potatoes. No. Onions? It's not an onion one, is it? So, what you see there? We need to change it. In fact, we need to change one. Right, so here we go with the correct one now. So we have yeah. one that's got how many spaces, Burger? One, two, one, one, no, two. No, try again, count from there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 holes. So 16 holes. And, and what we're planting here? Remember? Potatoes. No, we're doing onions first of all. No. No, we're going to do onions first of all because okay. we're right here. Yes? There's that one for potatoes. No, we've got, we've got special buckets for potatoes. So. All right. Right, so we're going to plant. So. Here we go folks, we've got all our onions. brown onion sets, yes? Yeah. So what we're going to do is we've got our spacer, so we're going yeah. to pop our spacer down and start planting. Mm -hmm. Right, so. Here we go. So, you know what to do, Gregor? Yes. So you take, another, take one. No, yeah. watch, watch what Daddy does. Yeah. You take one. Yeah. Pointy end upwards. Yeah. Blunt end downwards. Yes. So you take it mm. and all you do is push it in like that. See how daddy? You do it. Yeah? That's right, yes, that's all you need to do. <laughs> yeah, so. Look at this one. Lots of chips, lots of dippers. Let's just show you, let's just show you folks my plants. Eight potatoes, eight potatoes, eight potatoes, two onions, but we're fitting more. But it's going, it's all going well. So as you can see, folks, we have completed this bed with brown onions. Um, spread all over. What you can see in here is the irrigation system that will uh, be time to come on in the morning and, and we'll wash, uh, sorry, water all the onions as they grow through the season. Next job is we've got some red onions now to plant on the other bed so I'll go we'll get them. So we'll, we'll, we'll get them planted and I'll let you see them. On my plant it says eight potatoes in each. Well, this, is, this is, yes, we've not got to the pot so these are still onions. Brown onions no, coming red. up. Red. Red. Red onions, aren't they? Well, I'm going to show you. They are brown onions. Yeah, I'm going to show you that. I'm going to show you that. Sorry about that. Well, if you want to show you, don't look at my daddy. Just have a look how I've done so far. Not the best I could do. So my daddy moved on. So we're now. As you can see, folks, we're now finished planting the onions. And um, she said, all of that to the, there is brown onions up to here. There's red, red onions. We're saving the rest of the bed there to do some shallots. So what we'll do is pop, pop the protection frames back on. As you can see, it's a really simple job. Just taking the the onion set, one end down, point the end up push them in. There you go. So what the next job is, get on to do potatoes. Right folks, here we go. Ready to plant some potatoes. Yep. So what we've got here is buckets, plant buckets. You can grow trees in them and things like that. But uh, what we've got is that uh, we'll plant them in here. They've got, as you can see, 
beside them and in the bottom. Plant one third, put one third compost in these. Give it some dry tax 2-4 and some slow release plant food. Pop the potatoes and put another one third up so we've got two thirds filled. Uh, and when the potatoes start to sprout out the top, we'll add more compost. So here we go. What the first one? Uh, so what we're using is, folks, we're using the sieved compost just to get all the compost bits out of it. So as I say, put uh, Don't forget mine. So, some slow release. Good. Let's just open this up. Oh, so we've got a, oh. oh, we've got a, so we've got a spoon full. A little spoon, so good. Oh. Say about two spoonfuls of that in there. So, folks, we've got, as I say, we've got the Q4, Vitax Q4 in there, and the slow release, so. What we're going to do is just give it a little mix, yeah, and then we'll plant the potatoes. Right, so it's probably if you can a bit far enough down for you. As you can see, we've got the mix in there, so I'm going to put, put two, see them chitting fairly well, so let's put plump two in here. Oops, that one's rolled off. Just sit it a little bit further so, so you can see. What we're now going to do is put another one third compost on top, and that's what we're going to do with each of them. Right, folks, that's us completed 10 buckets of potatoes. You can see them in situ here. If I just go along here, up to there. The idea is, let me just, just come down this way, we'll go down this way. As you can just see, this is the irrigation system going from one house, that's the main supply one. We've got here, we've got a converter down to a, a smaller size, that's just a, an end stopper because you bend the pipe over, you can see. Let me just get posse. The idea is to take another irrigation system down here, in this area here will be two courgettes and then it will come down this way and we'll then have it's a bit different to the existing system that the other system is designed to just have a little drippers beneath that so we'll, we'll have a pipe running in between all the pots and in, in each pot there will be one dripper so, and that will be the plan uh, take it over here what we'll do is probably back in here we'll put the river back in there so it's right next to thing. Hi again folks um, uh, this is the brown onion bed that I have planted yesterday yes. um, um, but when I woke up this morning came down just to check everything and found out that some of the onion sets had been actually been moved uh, Looking up online, it appears that's a common thing with worms, sort of trying to take it for organic matter to eat. So I uh, read up and said, uh, put on sort of wood shavings or, or sawdust on. So I've only got um, wood shavings because we've got rabbits. So I've pumped that down and hopefully that will help. I've also put, started putting some slug pellets down as well. Uh, here we are in the shed just doing some last little bits. Um, what we're going to do today um, is gr grow some lamb's lettuce and some ruby chard. Um, the wife 
got it in a salad bag and really loved it. So I thought, well, you know, think how much you're paying for a bag. You know, I think it was a, a smallest bag was over a pound. I'm thinking, well, each of these packs cost me 99p. That's two. And to me, if I get more than two or three ba bags worth out of this, then I'm much quids in, really. So we're just going to plant this. What I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to do two two small trays each of of lamb's lettuce and the ruby chard. I'm uh, going to do this with sift compost and some vermiculite I got from Wilco's. So I'll put that in as well. Mix it in just so it's free drain. Leave it. I'm going to leave it in this tray inside the the shed, uh, and we'll see how we get on. So as you can see, we've now planted the ruby chard and lamb's lettuce. Uh, we've used the sift compost and the vermiculite um, to try and make a free draining soil. Uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll keep it in the shed for a little while. It's slightly warmer uh, at night time so we're not doing using any um, tea lights or, or heaters or anything like that so we'll just rely eye on that uh, and when the heads start to pop out we'll then get them uh, into the, the greenhouse just to see how they, they go. Um. Oops, looks like I might have disturbed an ant's nest. So you can see them all scrambling everywhere. So let's focus in on some of them. You can see little sods. Um, better get some ant powder. Started as well, sort of kill them off. So that's all the parsnip seeds planted. Um, what we haven't done is, as you can see here, we were going to. This was all the pre-chitted. I just couldn't get them into the holes properly with the roots that have already developed. So I just knocked it on the head. Worth a try, not worked. So got them all planted in here. Um, nine to a square foot six at the back that's not quite a square foot at the back there so it's six to sort of um, a foot width so we've got them down the back there so go to water I get some slug pellets down as well and I'll get some in that corner over here I'll put some uh, ant powder down just to kill them off yeah. um, and that's about it folks um, can't think of any other jobs we need to get done today, so we'll call it a day today. Now, um, to all, to all the, the mothers out there, hope you have had a nice Mother's Day, and to the rest, to you and everyone else, uh, I'll catch you on the next veg garden. See you later. Bye.